Come along with us, Roski's Travel, as we take a little trip to Memphis, Tennessee. We have found that as the kids get older, they need less and less stuff. So a few years back, we started a tradition of taking a trip over the Christmas break instead of buying lots of gifts. You will soon hear and see that I was sick during this trip, but decided that was not a good enough reason to not go. So we headed out to check out Beale Street. This is Beale Street. It's about midnight. Although I lost my nail, I found a lucky penny. Heads up. All right. Well, maybe you can glue that to your finger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was the cold weather or the Christmas season, but it was not very crowded, which was nice. So our first stop was the tin roof, where we played cards while enjoying the music. After a few hours of listening to good music, playing cards, and catching up with the kids, it was time to head to our Airbnb. But not before Rick shares his sick dance moves. And then in the morning, we headed to the Memphis Original Peabody Hotel. Oh, we're on our way to the Peabody to see the ducks. So we will take you along with us. The Peabody Hotel is a magnificent old hotel that is known for the group of ducks that live there. And twice a day, they march through the lobby. At 11 a.m., they march down from their duck palace on the roof to the lobby where they spend their day leisurely swimming in the fountain. And then at 5 p.m., they march back. My name is Ian Walker. I am the duck master here at the Peabody Hotel. Hey, thank you all. That's where the personally and officially welcome everyone, not just to the Peabody down the next morning because he's like, oh my god, I'm the general manager. And so then he rushed down to realize that all the ducks, one, were still in the pond, and two, it brought a bunch of people. Oh. And so that's why they continued to do it. Okay. And then they got the dude to train them to go up and down. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for the history lesson. <laughs> we're on top of the Peabody Hotel. Tiffany and I took the elevator up to see the Duck Palace. This is where the ducks live when they're not swimming in the fountain. We decided to come back in the evening to see the ducks march back out of the fountain at 5 p.m. Then stayed for snacks and happy hour at the corner bar. What did I do wrong to cause you to leave me since you've been gone? I've done good After the 11 a.m. duck march, we headed to the Civil Rights Museum. This museum is built around the Lorraine Motel, which is the location of Martin Luther King's assassination. It costs $20 for adults and $18 for our college students. Now, these men have designated. When the city did not meet their demands, 1,300 black workers went on short. <laughs> We felt the museum was really well done with a lot of great artifacts and information and enjoyed our time there. And afterwards, we headed across the street to Central Barbecue for some yummy barbecue lunch. 
Another place we made sure to visit on this trip was one that was on Matt's bucket list, and that is the ninth largest pyramid in the world. And it just happens to have a Bass Pro Shop inside. Okay, as we're wondering, what to get me for Christmas? There it is. You can pay a fee to travel up the elevator to the top of the pyramid to the observation deck and get a great view of the city. Or you can go to the restaurant that's located up there and get the view for free. But make sure to get your reservations made early. The next morning we had a little bit of time, so we went to see the Memphis sign, which is located at the back of this park. Hi everybody. So we are in Memphis for a little after Christmas getaway. Uh, Tiffany's with us. Say hi, Tiffany. Hello. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> uh, and our youngest son, Matt, but he has wandered off. So He's two oh, miles ahead of us. He's running. He's behind us, actually. Let's see if he, he, he made a loop already. <laughs> he always runs ahead. Anyway, we're at this park called Mud Island Park, and we're going to be looking for the Memphis side. And we will take you along with us. It was cold out, and of course we had to walk through the entire park to get from the parking lot to the end of the park where the sign was located. But all through the park was this map in the ground of the Mississippi River um, that the kids found very interesting. So we walked all along looking at it, freezing our butts off. And you can't go to Memphis without seeing Graceland. So after the park, we headed for our timed entry. Well, I just toured Graceland and it was really nice to see. Kind of expensive for what you get. Uh, $75 and you um, only get to tour the first floor of the house. You don't get to see any of his private residences upstairs where he slept, where he passed away. Um, so you get to see the first floor in the basement and then there's like a workout separate building and like a, another like garage kind of building where there's an office. I mean, it was nice, but it was super, super crowded. Um, they just, the amount of people that they shove in there, you're constantly in a line of people. Uh, and then you come over to a separate building and you can see his planes and his cars, which was very nice. Uh, lots of cars to look at. Definitely think uh, it could have been a little bit less money or a little less crowded to be more enjoyable, but we did have a good time. We enjoyed seeing all the rooms perfectly preserved as they were when Elvis lived there. We hope you are enjoying this little tour of our time in Memphis. Please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to see what other places we go to soon. After touring Graceland, looking at all the cars and planes, we headed to the Flying Saucer Emporium. It was a great restaurant where we grabbed some dinner and then we tried to figure out what to do next. Tell us, Rick, how's Memphis treating you? It's fabulous. I like it. It's a little cold, a little chilly. <laughs> Other than that, it's a great place. <laughs> where should we go to next? Margarita's I don't know. I'm you know, waiting for my crew to decide that. Everybody, where should we go to next? Uh, Kids, what do you want to do? To man. Where? It, instead of Mexican, it says man. Oh, it's camera. Say man. <laughs> <laughs> man. Margaritas, man. Margaritas, man. All right, so where are we going? Wherever Kelly says, maybe a bar. Know. Okay. So we went back to Beale Street and this time checked out the Rum Boogie Cafe. Thanks for joining us in Memphis.